So here we have the British Isles. In the lower portions is where the main production areas are. Though in Ireland you also have a lot of production. But in the northern area, Scotland, is where there's a lot of land. And a lot of area to take. Still important, not as important, clearly. Here, we see that there's red and dark teal, I'll call them. But Dark Teal will be flanked by Blue, so he'll have to fight a two-front war. What I suggest in this situation is for you to pull back slightly so that you can get a 1v1v1 war going on. The Dark Teal here is in a, a little bad position here because he has Dark Blue right behind him as well. What I suggest here is try to ally someone, though unlikely. Whenever you meet someone, always attack. Attack, attack, attack. You'll, ca caught, you'll catch them off guard, and they will likely surrender. Here you can see Red is starting to take a lot of this land in the east. In the, in the east. A great idea. A perfect idea, actually. But I also suggest for them to come into this corner over here, because that's safe land land that you can just supply and not have to worry about defending it. What Red's making a mistake here is not attacking Dark Teal. He should just steamroll right through. So clearly he is not. Dark Blue over here is taking over all of Ireland. But I also suggest for them to go into Scotland a little. As you can see they're trying to do over here. So that they get more land, because Ireland will run out, and then they'll slow down their land-taking process. A terrible idea. Currently, as you can see, Dark Blue is in the lead, but Red is close behind. They're about tied, actually. But as you can see, Black owns a lot more area of land, while Red owns a lot more concentrated land. Black's land, will be, Black's land will be easier to defend. I suggest for them to just build up here and then take over all the land here and come down. The best decision. Don't get into quarrels that you don't need to get into. Here you can see blue probably allied Dark Teal. Which is a great decision for Dark Teal and blue. Dark Teal might have done the same with Red, unsure at this point. But if they haven't allied them, then this would be a bad idea to let your lines open like this. A terrible idea, in fact. Red should um, march right in through here and land troll throughout their lands, get into Blue's back, and they would, and he would win. Clearly, he has not done this though. So bad ideas, bad idea. Black needs to rush through Scotland, and they need to do it quickly, or they're going to lose. There's no doubt about it. As you can see, Yellow is uh, not playing here, so it will be an easy takeover for Black. We look closely at the front lines. You can see here that Red and Dark Blue are fighting, but Dark Teal is not fighting Red. Hopefully they're allied for Red's case might not be sure. Though, currently, Red has 43 territories, while Blue has 37. Now, a huge mistake Red did was not take London. London's a key city. It's a golden city, in fact, as you can see over here. And golden cities have great production. You want the production. You want the production. You want the production. Blue has his capital on York, a city, meaning he'll have extra production. And as you can see, Red's now getting double teamed by Dark Teal. And he didn't take advantage of his open lines. He's probably going to be defeated. Though, when you're in this position, when you're about to lose, I suggest you keep fighting no matter what, so that People who are 
we're going to fight later on, we'll have more time to expand and fight. Now it looks like here that Black is doing, as I suggested, to build up here against Dark Teal. I suggest they just push in. Just push in. It'll be a lot of land you can take, and you can just supply it later. Right? But blue, dark blue, is going to be taking all this land over here. That's bad news for black. Terrible news for black. But there might be some positive to it. Blue will have most of his troops down in the south. Meaning, black could focus on the north and wipe out blue. And take out half his army before blue's main army has even made it up. Teal here has his general facing off against black. He should probably just charge it. And when you're charging from a uh, distance, as you can see this white little line there, you never charge with less troops. You charge up here, and then you can press Q on the troop, and pushing it back to get more reinforcements until you have enough. But now we're into the main clash. The clash that will probably decide this entire game. Scotland. The Battle for Scotland, specifically Edinburgh. This is an important city right here. The city, as I said, cities have lots of production. Production is key. Black sadly did not rush all of Scotland, so they won't have a lot of land to work off of. But they will still need to push, and they can take the land later. Currently, Black has 79 territories, Dark Blue has 85, and Teal has 31. Though, Teal likely isn't too smart because they aren't pushing out through here. Not a great idea. Black should use this to his advantage. You can see that Black here has 610 troops. He's doing this as a surprise. So Dark Teal will send less, um, less than adequate troops to attack. And then Black springs the troops and Dark Teal is surprised, and then would probably lose a huge army. Currently, Black is losing this battle severely, and with foresight, he has decided to surrender. And now, all that's left is some yellow territories, which will be quickly destroyed by Dark Teal, and as you can see, Dark Blue and Dark Teal were able to defeat their re the Red Enemy and the Black Enemy. And therefore have victored and won the war. Congratulations.